there is this one app that people keep asking me about every time they see me use it in a video. And I get it because it seems really nice, straightforward, and fun to work with. This is an app that was taken off the App Store back when Apple stopped supporting 32-bit apps and went over to 64-bit apps. You see, at that switch, if developers did not treat their older apps with an upgrade, well, the app would be taken off the App Store. So there were a slew of apps that got deleted, obliterated, buried in the app graveyard. And Amen Break Generator was one of them. Now, the reason to why I say that this is the best beat juggling app ever made is because of how it works, the exact functionality of it. It is brilliant and straightforward. And I know there are apps out there that do similar things to Almond Break Generator. And I've tested so many and none of them have that core functionality of Almond Break Generator, which is so intuitive, so straightforward and so much fun to work with. And I want to break it down for you now. So as soon as you start play, you can see a sequence running and you can hear the loop. Now, what I think is going on here is that this is an entire loop. This has not been chopped up into pieces. It's just a loop and then you have play markers. So whenever you're triggering a button, you're just telling the sequence to jump back to that play point and start playing the sample back or the loop back from that point. So it's just a loop with 16 play markers that you can trigger quantized to the beats. It doesn't get more simple than that. It makes for the best beat juggling experience that I've ever had in an app. Now, if we press here, then we have eight different loops we can switch between. And those are the loops that you had. And here is also where you change your tempo. And when you're changing the tempo, you're pitching the entire loop up. And when you're changing it down, you're pitching the entire loop down. So there is no time stretching or anything like that. Now freeze will freeze a play marker in place and loop the audio playing from that point. However, the sequence still goes in the background. You just can't see it. And so when you let go of freeze, it will jump to wherever point in the sequencer it is at that time. Now reverse will just reverse the sample. So basically it plays the loop backwards, but not the sequence itself. The sequence still keeps going forward. Now the recording function is kind of like a relic because back when Amen Break Generator came out, I'm not sure if it had audio bus support. I'm not even sure if audio bus even existed at that point. But yeah, any apps that came out usually had their own recording feature so you could capture audio inside the app itself. Now the button marked RMX stands for Remix and when you switch it on, it works like a randomizer for the play points. Now underneath here, we have four different effects. We got mod, filter, chorus, and a sample degrader.
All right, so there are some proper drawbacks inside Armor Break Generator that would need some upgrading and, you know, some modern functionalities. Number one, I mean, AUV3 is something people are gonna yell about so that we can use the app with anything else. Number two, some sort of syncing abilities so that we can sync this thing through Ableton Link, sync it to hosts and stuff like that, of course. Number three, there is no intuitive way of actually adding your own loops into Arm and Break Generator. And so any new app would have to have a way of doing that. Number four, there is no time stretching in here. Um, and some people might want that. I've always worked around this somehow by pitching down stuff afterwards with time stretching. And you know, it's not perfect, but maybe there's a way of figuring this out. Number five, the portrait mode is awful. I hate portrait modes. And I would love for this new app that someone out there is gonna make, just want it to be landscape. Number six, it would be nice to be able to change the quantization for the play marker sequence triggering thing. And then of course, there's the FX section. It would be cool to maybe have some other effects or something like that, but that's about it. In the end, what I really want is that core functionality and I need it not to be messed with. I mean, it can be improved and expanded upon, but I don't want it to be messed with. I really love the way it works right now. And it is a shame that this app doesn't exist anymore, that it isn't available for more creative people out there who want to try their hands out on beat juggling or for beat juggling freaks like myself that just loves juggling beats. So this is why I want to offer my services to any developer who decides to do this. I will help you out with the UX testing and even give you advice on UX design if you need it, of course. Now, if there are beat makers watching this, you might be thinking to yourself, Bruh. why doesn't he just chop it up in a sampler? Let's grab Koala Sampler, load up Arm and Break on all of the pads, set them all to one shot mode, and make sure that all of them are also in the same choke group so that they mute each other when you play them. Now, you only need to set up the start point and you don't really need to touch the end points because you want the rest of the sample playing because you can't use a looping mode because if you put a pad into a looping mode, you're losing the one shot mode. Now, once you've done this, you can beat juggle. Stop it. Get some help. Now, if you thought that sounded whack, it's because it is whack. I can't play that well. And so my playing is not gonna be perfect. And some would say, well, you can always practice and get perfect. Yeah, I know, I just won't. This is why I like Arm and Break Generator because it quantizes my playing. And so if I play well enough, it will still sound really good. Now, another reason to why I won't do this in a sampler or sample player is because it takes longer to set this up than it would do in something like an Almond Break Generator-like app. The problem is that after you do all of that work, you still don't have that same Almond Break Generator functionality. You don't have the quantization. And if you wanna pitch your stuff up, you have to go and individually pitch all of the samples up or down if you want that. And throughout history of mankind, inconveniences has completely killed products and or ways of doing things. I mean, inconvenience is what made me sell my most favorite hardware synthesizer. And I'm no stranger to basing my decisions upon inconveniences, right? So if there is a better way of doing things, meaning maybe faster or more direct, then I'd do that. Now there's one more reason why I'm not chopping this up in a sampler or sample player. When you play something like this in a sampler, you're triggering samples. And so if you stop, the music stops completely. And that doesn't happen in Arm and Break Generator because it still treats the session as a loop. 
So what can you do? Well, you can always, if you do have access to a sequencer inside your sample player or sampler, then you can write up a little sequence and have it play that way. The problem here is though that you are now playing a sequence. And so whenever you try to trigger samples over it, you're not telling a play marker to jump back to a point in time and play back from there. And you're only going to end up triggering double notes on top of the notes already playing. This is why we need someone to remake Almond Break Generator or a new app with the same type of functionality. Because it needs to exist. It gives you a completely different type of playing mode. And it does it with a minimal setup and a minimal graphical user interface. I love it so much. Someone please bring it back. Now, if you're into beat juggling, then there is this other app that does something different very very different it allows you to mix beats in a different way and trigger them in a very different way so it's not like almond break generator but usually people will mention glitch breaks by alex matthew this thing is amazing it's an older app also no aov3 but if you're into beat juggling you have to try this And the second app, which allows for some, not beat juggling, but playing beats in a very different way, is Beat Surfing 2. If you don't know what it is, go check out my video on Beat Surfing 2, because I think it's going to be a very hot app in the future. I just really love this app, and I really recommend it. Go check my video on it. <laughs> Now, if you have any other suggestions for beat juggling apps, apps that allow you to trigger stuff kind of like this, then type them down in the description. And if there is an app that works exactly like this, but somehow I've missed it, then tell me down below in the comment section. If you like the work I do here on the channel, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But if you do, you're a poopy butt all. And if you want to support me in any other ways, then just share my videos. If you want to support me in a financial way, go check out my music first. There's some links in a pinned comment down below. And if you don't want to do that, I've got Patreon and PayPal. And if you don't want to do any of it, that's fine too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Juggle those beats, baby. Mm -hmm.